morning. My name's Bill, aka Billy Goat. Today is August 22nd, 2021. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the second mower that I bought for the business, and that's the 2013 Toro Time Master. As you see behind me, I no longer have that mower. In July of 2013, I had a total of 19 accounts. 13 of them were residential accounts that I acquired, and then I also had another six accounts that I was subcontracted through a property manager. If you've been following me, you know my first mower was a 21 inch push mower. And I used that during the spring and early summer. And I wanted to upgrade, I wanted to get a, a second mower. And at the time, Home Depot was advertising their Toro Time Master, the 30 inch cut. Cut yards 40% quicker than your traditional 21 inch mower. Those that know me know I keep records of everything and I kept the paperwork when I purchased the mower and I was surprised that you know back then they were advertising it for $9.99 now I think the mowers today because um, I just recently bought a new one and they're like $12.99 now so they're actually $300 more than when I first bought one hopefully you'll be able to see this but they were advertising it for $9.99 and here's the actual receipt so with tax a total of $1,058 I whipped out the old charge card most of us know that the first few years of, of the Time Master they had the smaller engine on there they had the 8.75 190 cc engine on them and if you were cutting, you know, wet or tall grass, it was definitely underpowered. At the time, I was still using this blazer to run the business. And I had to use these ramps uh, to get, get the mower in and out of the truck. I used that time master the rest of the summer. It was August, September, and October. I used it all of 2014, all of 2015. And I believe 2016 I uh, purchased another mower, which was the uh, Craftsman Pro Series 28 inch. Uh, so the Time Master became a backup at that point. So for the most part, uh, in 2016 um, I didn't use it much anymore. And uh, in 2017 came, I bought another uh, Craftsman Pro Series 28. So now I didn't need the Time Master anymore. Uh, it was sitting in my, my storage unit at the time and it was just taking up space. So I figured I decided to sell it. I had no idea how many hours I put on that mower um, for using it for a good solid two and a half years or seasons, I should say. Uh, I took some photos of it and uh, put it on Craigslist and uh, listed it for $500 and within you know minutes uh, people were calling me and I believe I sold it on that same day for $500 cash so at the end of the day that was a fantastic return on investment uh, I believe I sold it in May of 2017 I'll uh, I'll show you uh, the photos that I posted on Craigslist. So as you can see, you know, that Time Master was well maintained. Um, you never know. You know, you buy something new, you want to keep it as nice as possible. You know, I, I try to keep up on the preventive maintenance. You know, I try to keep it out of the weather and the elements. Um, because you never know. You never know if you're going to sell it. Um, you know, my rule of thumb when, when I buy something, you know, brand new, uh, you know, I try to keep it, you know, in the best condition as possible. Because uh, I know I can easily sell it for half of what I paid for it. 
and I pretty much use the same rule of thumb when I'm buying used equipment you know on Craigslist or you know Facebook uh, I typically don't like to pay more than half of what it would cost for something you know brand new because uh, that way if, you, if I do buy it and I'm not satisfied with it at least I know I can resell it for the price that I paid for it well that's it for this video it's uh, starting to sprinkle here and I, I don't want to get my hair wet so we'll catch you in the next video have a good one